What's up, everybody? My name's Caden. Welcome to another episode of A Cup With Crazy. I got some buddies of mine here on the show with me. Uh, last week, Aaron joined me. Um, I got two more buds of mine here with me. Right above me here is my cousin, Steven. Say hey. What's up, Steven? Hey. Over What's here, up, I got my main man, John, who's also going to be doing this uh, review slash um, talk with us. So you want to say hi? What's up, everybody? So, um, like usual, we all got our cups. Um, we all got our coffee. This is the M240 blend from a place called the Happy Bean Project. So, the Happy Bean Project is a non-profit veteran-ran coffee shop. Um, they have a coffee trailer, online store. All profits and donations fund the project, um, which basically is for homeless shelters, mental health facilities, and streets to make coffee for the people. Through coffee, we're able to show those in need. We care about them, giving them hope and a person to talk to while sipping coffee. We also provide resources for people suffering with bipolar, PTSD, depression, anxiety, and more. The goal is to save lives, help prevent suicides, and get people talking about mental health. So it fits in with our mental health, me. So I think this is awesome. I think this is a cool, awesome uh, project they have here. And let's, let's all try it out. Let's do it. Cheers. Gotta get the slurp. Can we cheer it? Kind of. This is a strong one. This is good, though. It's bold. What was the name again? Uh, the M240 blend. Oh, that sounds like. <laughs> that's yeah. Very this is deserving this is name. Out hot. And bowl. Steven, you don't drink too much coffee now, do you? Uh, I do not drink too much coffee. Uh, usually, when I do, it is someone has offered it to me, or um, we're just like, okay, I want a uh, a drink of coffee from Starbucks or something. Uh, nothing big. Just usually like, what is it, caramel macchiato? Um, yeah. Yeah, some of their like basic menu item stuff. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. yeah. So this, um, they sell these, uh, I think this is $14 for this, um, the bag that we got. Uh, like I said, you know, that price point is a little higher, but anytime they have like these cool projects that support these things, um, it's definitely always worth the money. Uh, pros, it's bold. So if you like strong coffee, um, man, this is good stuff. Like, I feel like this will wake me up no matter what. Like, I could have, like, had one hour of sleep, and I will be up after drinking this cup of coffee. It's definitely something that will put hair on your chest and curl it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. It smells strong. Um, it does taste really bold. Um, so, all in all, I think if you like, you know, strong, bold coffees, it is bold. It's pretty strong. So, I mean, that could kind of be a con if you don't if you like to... some of the stronger coffees. Hey. If you had to go and smell, though, would you like, want to wake up to it? Is it something that's going to, like, fill your house? And, like, oh, yeah, 100%. This. My whole house smells like this. I don't know. About oh, it. yeah. Uh, he, Caden sent us these ba some of these bags uh, in the mail so that we could try it cool. um, along with him. Uh, it sounds sketchy, but uh, perfect fine. But, like, I literally opened the, the envelope or the manila envelope that it was in, and just the smell hit me. And I was like, whoo, that is coffee. Uh, totally... Uh, just feel felt ready for it as soon as I smelled it. <laughs> it wasn't even brewed yet. How did you guys uh, try this for your review? Any cream or sugar? Yeah, basically yeah. with my reviews, I just kind of do like either milk or like a half and half with uh, just sugar. I try to make them all kind of the same. So uh, I have like some consistency across the reviews. Yeah, I... Good. Or go ahead, sorry. I was going to say, I had uh, some sugar and I think French vanilla creamer, Caden? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm at his house, so whatever he had in the fridge. For me, I just take a spoon and fill it with caramel and then just dip it and do it just to kind of keep it raw, but I still want to be able to like drink it. I gotcha. I went black for this. Uh, it's definitely pretty stout, but it's pretty good. Touch bitter. But like if you hit it with just, I usually just do sweet cream because I don't like it over sweet, just to take a little bit of that bite out. But it's pretty good. Yeah, it's yeah. probably one of the more bold coffees as far as like 
bold that I've tried. It's so it's got to be bold, right? If it's got a name that sounds like a firework. Like, yeah, if it's got yeah. an M240, you want it bold, man. You want it. It sounds up. like something you'd find in your grandpa's garage from the 60s, like a chemical, like yeah. <laughs> pest <laughs> propellant or something. <laughs> yeah, it does its job 100%. Okay, guys, so that's it for the review. Uh, if you want to stick around, we're going to be just kind of talking, hanging out. Um, so if you want to stick around, we're going to go ahead and click on the next video. Um, we're just going to be here talking about uh, the topic for this week. So thank you guys again for hanging out with us, and please stick around.